Hey, what's up guys? Tyler here with Secure Team. So before we get to this really anomalous finding on the planet Mars, we have some breaking news just hit the web yesterday. A brand new, leaked, apparently UFO sighting that has been confirmed by the Pentagon of an unidentified object that was caught just a couple of years back by cameras on the USS Omaha. They were out in the ocean and they noticed what appeared to them to be a spherical object slowly making its way right above the ocean waves before finally dipping down into the water without making any sort of splash whatsoever, almost as if it just defies physics and just pierces the water without causing any sort of disruption. And as many of you know, I have been fascinated with USOs or unidentified submerged objects, UFOs that seem to hover around our oceans, coming in and out of our oceans. We have many sightings that I'm going to show you in a minute, as well as more UFO footage, also this time caught by the Department of Homeland Security of an object piercing down into the ocean. I've always said, we don't need to look up into space. We have an alien world right here on our planet. It's called the ocean. Only 10% has ever been explored by man. 10% of our oceans, leaving 90% totally unexplored. There's something going on down there. From lights being seen underneath the waves caught from airplanes, as you're seeing here, to the Tic Tac UFO incident, where a tic-tac-shaped UFO was seen hovering over the ocean waters again by the Navy before blasting up into the sky at an amazing rate of speed unmatched by humans, again defies physics. So this even made it onto the national news as you're seeing here. And as you're watching the video, this thing, again, it, it occurred at night, so they have the infrared on. But it appears this object, whatever it is, to be a spherical object, no wings, no propulsion whatsoever, before finally the thing just dips down into the water. Now, this footage was obtained by a man named Jeremy Corbell. If you've been a follower of the channel for the past few years, uh, Jeremy, who is an investigative uh, filmmaker, um, we've met in person. I ventured out to his Los Angeles premiere of his newest film, Bob Lazar, UFOs and Flying Saucers. Met him in person, uh, as well as Bob Lazar, as you're seeing in the image here. And I met a ton of awesome Secure Team fans who just ventured out to the LA premiere uh, just to uh, photobomb me. So I tried to get as many photobombs as I could there, or others tried to. And it was an awesome time. But Jeremy, he has a source in the Pentagon. And so he obtained this footage, and uh, well, here's a clip from him and George Knapp detailing some of the background behind this new UFO footage. Omaha was itself under surveillance. Took off. Okay. This video was recorded inside the Omaha's command center just before 11 p.m. on July 15th. The image on the screen shows a six foot in diameter sphere that traveled alongside the Omaha for about an hour. It was pitch black outside, so the image was obtained via a thermal sensor. Personnel in the command center made multiple recordings of what was on the screen. At precisely 11 p.m., the unidentified sphere seemingly vanished into the ocean. Splashed. splashed. When they say splash, splash, that doesn't mean there was a physical splash. That means this object went into the water, or they suspect it did. And Filmmaker they, Jeremy Corbell obtained the video from sources he declines to identify. In April, Corbell and Mystery Wire released a series of other startling images that are included in a briefing presentation prepared by the UAP Task Force, a unit created by Congress last year to collect UFO-related images and information for a comprehensive report due next month. One image from the UAP Task Force is a freeze-frame slide of the sphere seen beside the Omaha. The Pentagon has confirmed that image was captured by Navy personnel. The task force considers it to be a genuine unknown. Other journalists have confirmed that multiple Navy ships in the same vicinity were buzzed by unknown objects during the same time frame, July 2019. Corbell says as many as 14 of the spheres surrounded the Omaha and were detected on sensors on and off during three perplexing days at sea. 
Okay, so pretty wild stuff. And that brings me to another UFO clip or USO clip, which in my opinion, out of all of the UFO footage out there, both in the sky and in our oceans, I think this video, even more than this new footage that was just released, is probably, if not the best evidence of UFOs that I've seen. And it comes from a surveillance camera operated off of the coast of Puerto Rico by DHS. And you'll notice in this video, and I'm not going to talk, you just watch it, there's an object that they zero in on. It's flying very low to the coastal waters. And as they follow this thing, it gets closer and closer to the water before, just like this new clip, and without causing any disturbance whatsoever, goes down into the water at what I can only explain is an extremely high rate of speed with no disturbance to the water whatsoever. It goes down into the water and at one point appears to morph into two separate objects before finally disappearing into the ocean deep. So check this out. Alright guys, so tell me what you think, man. The ocean, I'm scared to death of it because I don't know what's down there. I've always been afraid of water. Although I visit the beach on vacation, I won't go in further than knee high most of the time. Because first, I'm afraid of sharks. But secondly, it's just, it, like I said, it's an alien planet. We don't know what's down there. And with so many of these objects seen exiting the ocean and entering back into it from space, it makes you wonder whether the alien base is actually right here on our doorstep and not on some other planet far in the reaches of space. Now on to the last discovery I want to show you, this time off Earth, going to the planet Mars. Now, I was on Google Earth, which most of you know what this is. So here we are on Google Earth Planet Mars, where you can pretty much see the entire surface area of Mars taken by these reconnaissance orbiters. Kind of funny, huh, how they named them the Mars Reconnaissance Orbiters. Reconnaissance is a military term, people. They are doing reconnaissance there, as well as around our moon. But that's a topic for another video and past videos I've done. So we're going to zoom down here, and we've spoken a lot about many of these strange what look like openings or entrances found on Mars, which is supposed to be a barren wasteland full of radiation with nothing able to live or thrive on the surface. And many of you have seen the sort of blurry images of what look like metallic, perfectly squared entrances, just like the one you are seeing here, and there are many of these scattered across the planet. These are not stitching glitches, this is part of the exact same image scan taken from the satellite. We have a dark hole surrounded by what looks like a metallic shining frame. We may have found another entrance to what could be an above ground base of some kind. And that's where we're zooming to now, so this is a very high res image. And as we zoom down, you'll notice 
sort of sitting by its lonesome, this very strange, long, oval, or cigar-shaped plateau casting a shadow down on the surface. And as we zoom in, you'll notice what appears to be an entrance of some kind dug out of the side of this thing or constructed. And it almost looks like your typical door frame, you know, rectangular shape. You know, it's definitely a hole, that's for sure. And the fact that this hole or entrance is right on the edge of this very large structure that is coming up from the ground and stretching back for miles, it makes one wonder if this is some sort of base that is partially above ground. Uh, the shape of the structure itself is very strange. It could be somewhat camouflaged. And then, if you'll notice right down from the door, there almost looks to be a path and what kind of sort of a, a square carved out into the Martian dirt with what appear to be possibly some more, albeit smaller, entrances as you're seeing here. But nonetheless, uh, what we have on this giant above ground object, um, it, it's an entrance of some kind and we just seem to be finding more and more of these all over. Uh, the uh, solar system on various planets and moons. So tell me what you guys think. Could this be yet another entrance? Definitely not surrounded by a steel frame as in the other images, but again, an entrance to something. Could be empty inside, could be natural, could not be. You tell me what you guys think down below. And speaking of you guys, again, I want to say thank you for all of your support since I've come back. I was gone for almost a year. I almost didn't make it back. And the outpouring of support, uh, you guys sending in your pics of merch from all around the globe. You know, I, I would love to get a picture and make a compilation of just one person wearing a shirt in every different state or country on the globe. And I... I Pretty much think we've we've got there i mean we, we we are everywhere heck we've even been seen on french television game shows so there is no community as tight or or like the insomnia team family here and we're everywhere so thank you guys again for your support check out the links down below and as always stay tuned and i will see you guys back in just a bit